In this tutorial, I'll show you how to load your cards into Launch Tabletop to get them printed. So over here, I've got a project. I've got some cards that have been optimized for bleed. I'm going to export this project. And then on the next print screen, I'm just going to check that I've got three mils of bleed. I need exactly three mils. And then I'm going to click off. I'm going to hit export to generate PNG images. And for Launch Tabletop, I do actually need exactly 300 DPI. I am going to generate card backs and I'm going to hit export. While Dextrous is exporting there, I'm just going to go over to Launch Tabletop. I'm going to sign in. So you've got to create an account already if you haven't done that. Then I'm going to create project. And there's a warm welcome here. Okay, that's kind of cool. There's some new tips here. Um, but essentially what we want to do is add components. So you do have to give your project a name here. So this is just going to be my card project. I'll just grab that and add it. And then I want to create some cards. So I'll select cards here. Now there's a few different card options here that I've got. Um, essentially in Dextrous, if you have the poker, that's actually the Imperial poker here. So I'm going to select Imperial poker. I can just call it cards for now. That's fine. I'm going to select some white core and I'll just do 18 cards for now to show you how it works. I'll go with smooth and I want to keep blank, blank cards. So say if I had 17 and one blank, I would keep that one blank card. So I'll just hit next on that one. And so this here is saying my templates are being created. So Launch Tabletop is kind of creating the file setup that I'll need here. So I'm going to go back to Dextrous. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. I'm going to extract these pictures. I'm hitting extract on my other monitor. And here they are. So I'm just going to open these up and look at the fronts of my cards. I'm just going to view that in icon so you can see them there. Now over in launch tabletop, I want the simplified mode. This is for the um, professional modes for a PDF, but I've got these PNGs and it's super easy to get them to make the PDF for me. So I'm going to select simplified mode. Now that that's um, ready, I can click this upload your graphics, click that, and then I'm going to add images. So this is going to get Launch Tabletop to create a PDF for me. So I'm going to select 18 images here, so 0 to 17. Drop them in here, and they are the correct resolution for screen top. So I'm going to hit Continue. I'm going to then hit Create PDF. So that is now uploading to ScreenTop, and ScreenTop is telling us here that the PDF creation is underway. So that they've taken those PNGs and they are going to make them into a print-ready PDF that will work with their system. Um, so this is just a little explanation here that you've got to look for um, this email that they will send you to your email. And the reason they do this is so that you are pretty much forced to look at your PDF and just check if everything is actually okay. So you can't just hit next, next, next. You do have to download the PDF and then upload it back into ScreenTop. And they want you to take a look at it and just make sure everything is as it should be. So I'm just going to say, great, take me back to my components. And now I'm going to head over to my email. So here I am in my email and I'm just going to download that PDF and there it is. And I can just upload my PDF file over here in screen top. So I'm going to click upload. Okay. So my PDF for my front of the cards has uploaded here, but what you'll notice is I haven't actually got one for my back. So I need to go back to the templates here, step two and upload my graphics. And this time I want to do the same thing, but for the backs. Okay, so I've downloaded the PDFs that Launch Tabletop sent to me for my fronts and my backs. I've uploaded the PDFs here and they've both been verified. Green tick, green tick. And now I can create the order. So I'm just going to go to the next step here and then just give this a name. So Gills Test Order. 
and then you need to confirm the quantity and the price. In this case, I'll just take one and that's pretty cheap because it's only 18 cards. And then obviously from there, you'd put in your shipping address and all the rest. The really good thing about the way Launch Tabletop is set up is once you have your orders and you've processed one, you can actually easily come back to it and say, yes, I want another two of those or something like that. So yeah, that's it in a nutshell, how to get your cards into Launch Tabletop for printing.